Hi world, um, it's Jay Dad One coming at you today. Um, I've had a lot of people um, ask how that I made the device that um, saves me so much money in electricity, and it has literally saved me hundreds of dollars. If you would like me to, I can even show you the bills from when I first made this thing. Um, this organ or organite or whatever it's called um, generator and it's so simple to do um, basically what I did is I <laughs> really ticked my wife off on this one but I took this uh, I guess a martini glass or whatever but you know, I don't drink, so it didn't mean much to me. She was a little bit ticked off about it, but I sprayed the inside of it with, um, you know, canola oil or cooking oil, and um, I ended up having to destroy the glass because the oil you know it stuck so hard to the stuff that I ended up having to break it apart and get this thing out but if you look you can see all the little all the little things that I'm going to show you inside here I mean I even put some coins in here I put some pennies and some dimes and some nickels it's got nickel in it and stuff like that basically um, got a bunch of these copperhead BBs and I bought regular steel BBs and of course aluminum foil I took a bunch of aluminum foil and you know I tore it up into strips I tear it up into strips like this and into strips and ball it up or make cylindrical patterns out of it. Now all of this stuff ain't going to work without this right here. This is your quartz crystal. Now what I did is I took and I broke a part of this crystal off I broke some good sized pieces of this crystal off and I put those down in there but the bulk of my crystals I got from um, the play sand that you can buy at any big big hardware store it's got a lot of quartz crushed quartz embedded in it it's like you know 20% quartz crystals and I you know filtered it out with sand and stuff like that and filtered out the fine granules which left me some little pebble like pieces of quartz and I mixed all that in with this type of stuff here which is, um, you know, BBs, I took some steel wool, I cut strips of the rough steel wool, I cut some strips of it, and put in there, and I took a bunch of bolts and nuts and all kinds of steel and metal, and you combine all that first what you do is you want to take and put some of your pieces of quartz your best pieces of quartz at the tip of your um, thing of course you don't want to have it protruding out the top so 
I made a little layer of um, a little layer in the bottom of the glass of some little pieces of metal some little pieces of metal and stuff and other things like some of the BBs and stuff like that and then I put some of the pieces of quartz some of the bigger pieces of quartz and then I put a bunch of the granules from the bag and the bags of sand the mortar mix sand or the play sand you can get either one just make sure it says um, quartz you know it has quartz in it and it'll tell you on the bag but then your main thing that you're going to have to use is this right here I blackened out the label or whatever of what it is so I don't get in trouble but it's um you know it's a kit and with the kit you get some hardener with it and I still got enough to make um, probably one or two more of these things with it um, but you can make them any shape you want um, as many as you want um, you know I could save money if I'd have made more of them but anyhow I used a bunch of nuts and bolts stuff like that mix that in with what do you want what you want to do is do it in layers but I mixed it in with the quartz and the stuff the resin mixed it in and then poured it in poured me a layer of resin over top of it then put some more steel wool slicing some aluminum foil slicings layer 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 and anyways I mixed all that in until it was um, you know until it was at the top at the top here and you can see it's it's not pretty and it's and it doesn't have to be um, but you know you can see some of the stuff that I've used in here in it all kinds of stuff like key rings I used all types of stuff I used spent 22 casings I used um, I used a number of things in mine but I took my big quartz my big quartz crystal and I just shattered off a chip off of it now you can buy quartz crystal online that they claim that it, that it's aligned that it's um you know aligned positive and negative and all that I don't know I don't know about all that all I know is that what I did worked so there you have it I would suggest instead of using something like this and getting in trouble with your wife to use some of the uh, use some of the little paper oil filter or not oil filter but oil um, the thing you know the little funnel that you use to put oil in your car get some of those from the um, service station and you know get five or six of them or whatever coat them with oil so that you can take your stuff out and uh, proceed to mix away there's really no no wrong way you can do this here in all shapes all sizes I figured the pyramid shape would be the best because I figured maybe that it could you know focus the beam up underneath my box and I, I, I don't know if that works or not I've seen um, videos where people have used Oregon blasters and they've made these big huge um, six cylinder round discs with Oregon inside them and they've said and demonstrated that they've been able to clear up chemtrails 
and um, chem clouds above them. So it's really, really great stuff. It's technology that's ancient technology that's pretty much suppressed from us. And um, Tesla knew a lot about this quartz thing. If you know, the old um, the old ham radio, the old radios and stuff, they used crystals for um, part of their things and make the things work. But anyway, that's what I wanted to show you how to do it. Get your fiberglass resin. Now, I, I'm curious as to find out whether you have to have that fiberglass resin or you can use some other kind of um, epoxy type bonder that is much more inexpensive like a plastic type stuff just to you know keep it all in there but so far this is what works best that I've known of this is what everybody recommends and this is what I've used and I've seen excellent results from it like I say um, my power bill has is at least a hundred dollars fifty bucks in the cheapest times where we don't have to use any you know where it's good weather we don't have to use the air conditioner or the heat at all we can open the windows and stuff like that you know you might say thirty 50 bucks there but when you're really pushing that power you can drop that bill by a hundred bucks at least I, I've seen it and my wife has told friends about it I've told people about it I know it works and I can show you the bills to prove it the only other way you can prove it to yourself is by making one of these right here like I say, it doesn't have to be a cone shape. It can be flat, round. It can be the shape of this piece of uh, stuff here. You could put the stuff inside here and make it that way. It might be small. Um, I've seen videos where people make these small ones and they go and they throw them out all over the place because they're good for the environment they battle these um, electronic warfare devices that we have that they're using against us it's an anti-electronic warfare device and it works in ta tandem with nature and it's all put here for a reason And uh, but like I say all kinds of metals, steel wool, aluminum foil, your epoxy fiberglass resin kit with the hardener and the fiberglass resin, BBs, um, copper ones, steel ones, um, a container to make it in to whatever shape you want, and there you go. So um, give it a try. Make sure whatever you're using as your container, make sure you coat it with some kind of um, something that you can, <laughs> you know, you you can take the stuff off with. I don't know if I don't I I, I don't know if it would keep it from working, but um, use as many of the quartz, as much as the quartz as you can. Get a bag of that sand. And filter out the little quartz pieces in there and mix those in thoroughly because the quartz is a key ingredient along with the other metals around it this is Chatty Dad one I hope you guys will do this and experiment for yourselves and watch watch your power bill drop you know you won't see it on the first month because that's last month you'll see it on the next one though you will see a difference and you will feel better if you've been affected negatively on these things. And this is Chatty Dad one I hope everyone's well. God bless. Good luck. If there's any questions or anything, let me know. And I'll do my best to um, 
either do another video to, or to answer you um, how I can but um I hope everyone had great Thanksgiving and, and holidays and look forward to good things in the future because this is just the first of the ancient technology that they've uh, that we've been allowed to get and um, never give up your firearms your right to bear arms never give up your rights that they allow us to exercise never stop use it as long as they will allow us to use it use it I know it's all incorporated but they've got to maintain that it's not they've got to maintain that there's the real government of the United States of America that's not incorporated that is you know by the people for the people and blah 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 but um, anyway hope everyone's well god bless good luck to us all this is chatty dad one over and out